Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm standing right in front of my music room door and you know what that means. The 200 subscriber um, music room tour. I am a bit late but I'm sorry for that. I was a bit busy but I'm still doing it. Before we do the tour, I want to um, share with you something quite big. I have a huge, huge announcement and that is that um, my original song, uh, Conflicting Emotions, is coming out next week, 4th February, and I'm quite excited about it. I hope you are too. And the greater news is that uh, I have something special to the people who have really, really, really supported me in my musical journey. And if you think you're one of those people who have really supported me, uh, please check your uh, messages because I will be reaching out to you. Okay, now let's... Um, I, I'm gonna show you the preview and then I'm gonna take you inside. Before we go in, I have one more thing to say. Uh, because this is release week for me, I will be working really hard on making quality content and a lot of them. So uh, please watch out for me. Um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know it, Triash Music. And the last thing is that I have a really, really special announcement to make and I won't be doing that in this video. I'll be posting that video really soon so look out for that you might be getting something so let's get in welcome to my music room that must have made you dizzy it sure made me but i'll be uh, splitting this video into three parts no actually four parts so um, the first one, nice and easy, we go for decorations and furniture maybe. And then second one, we dive a bit more into music with my instruments. And then after that, I will do how I record my music, my, um, my process of writing and all that. And then after that, my video equipment. So let's get into it. The first thing I'd like to show you is my wall of art. Art is a really special thing to me because it's my way of expressing and yeah, the colors in an artwork really uh, mean a lot to me. But in here, the two that are really special to me is the one here, that one, the Rush poster and then this one because uh, a really, really special person gave it to me. The next thing I want to show you is this art. This one, it took me around 24 hours to paint. Uh, it's actually a curtain. I got the curtain maker to uh, fit a canvas into the system. Yeah, and the design came as I was just messing around in my phone. I was going for an abstract look. And then if you look closely, it's actually meant to be a face because the blue one and the red circle are meant to be eyes. The light blue rectangle, no, triangle is supposed to be a nose. And then if you see the black lines, those are supposed to be your lips. Now I want to show you the green things behind me. Those are there to um, absorb the sound that is in the room. So it um, reduces the um, reflection between walls. So it cuts out the echo and the re reverb in the room. So what is special about it is that um, I got a carpenter to make the frame for it and inside. And after that, everything I, I did with my own two hands. So inside I put in glass glass wool or fiber wool, 
so that material is there to absorb the sound and after that I covered it with cloth and the special thing about the cloth is that it's my mom's sari so she didn't need that anymore so I reused it and put it over the material and there you go that's my my acoustic panels they're not the best but it does help Now I want to move on to the next section which is instruments. As you can see the first instrument in this, it's not the first, it's actually the last instrument that I bought. But um, this is my sarangi. I wanted to learn it when I was 13. I even bought one but um, I, didn't, I couldn't find a teacher and learning it myself was impossible. I, was able to play a few tunes. I could play the Titanic theme song and that was about it. But now I finally found a really good teacher and um, yeah, I'm learning it. The next instrument is this keyboard and it is the least often used instrument in this room. I don't know why. The next instruments that I want to show you is the guitars in this room. I actually only own one of them, which is the electric guitar. This one, as you might already know, I built it when I was 13. The wood and the neck was there, but everything else was broken. There was layers of paint, layers of dirt on it. So I cleaned it up all by myself and yeah, even did the electronics of the guitar. Um, let me know if, I mean, put it down on the comments if you want to, want me to make a separate video of this guitar and the story behind it. And then the rest, the black one and then the brown one belongs to my father. I think both of them were uh, given as gifts to him. So that one and that one. So those are acoustic guitars and then the bass guitar, the tall one, that one is my brother's bass guitar. He's learning it. But even though it doesn't belong to uh, all of us, it actually does because we all use it. And then there's the tiny little ukulele. The next instrument I want to show you is my piano. It's also the oldest instrument in this room and it is still fit and healthy. I got it when I was in grade two as a reward, probably for doing good in my studies or getting good grades or something like that. But it's still going great and plays well. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. I take a sad song and make it better. Okay. Uh, comment down if you want to if you want me to make a cover of Hey Jude. Okay, moving on. Now we move on to how I produce my music. <laughs> Producing and recording. My journey started when I was um I can't remember. It was 2016 around November. Um yeah. And I'm 18 now, so you can do the math. I can't remember how old I was. Um, so I had written a song. It wasn't a good song at all, but yeah, I wanted to record it. So I started researching about uh, how I can do it on my own and all that. So I found this um, free software called Audacity. And yeah, I think I did record it, but it didn't turn out that good. Um, but, you know, my first two covers, Everglow and Every Breaking Wave, I did use Audacity and yeah, the results are decent. Uh, but I recently upgraded to Logic Pro, which is a more professional um, producing software. And I didn't buy that a really good um, friend or a brother kind of yeah so he gifted me the software and I am forever grateful for that 
another thing that is absolutely necessary to do recording is this little thing so i started out using this in the beginning it's um pretty cheap and it's not the best quality but it does get things done so my first two covers everglow and every waking wave i did use this and i think yeah so what i'm trying to say is um equipment and gear is not the most important thing when you are creating it's just your passion and um your desire to make yeah but after that i did um upgrade to this which is much more expensive and really good the purpose of this is to take an analog signal from your microphone which is connected here and then it sends out the signal to the computer as a digital signal so that's the work of this and this is one of the most essential things for production now talking about my songwriting process uh, songwriting or compu composing process so mostly I first do the instruments or the sounds before I write down the words so um, no actually I had this book where I, I this book where I um, record or journal all my ideas and my concepts and then once I find, find a decent idea and concept I, I make the music first so um, to compose the piano part or the guitar part or drum drum or the drums and put them all together and once that's ready then I start with the lyrics so with whatever that is in in this book uh, I start I start with the prompts and the notes in this book and yeah and then I also look up some words um, in the dictionary and I go to a relatively quiet place listen to the music again and again yeah and come up with the words and the last part is to record my my singing and then I mix them all I mix the audios and then yeah arrange it and master it and that's the process of me writing songs for conflicting emotions I actually wrote it a really really long time ago um, in 2000 and I don't know when I was 15 years old um, yeah so that one I had the guitar part first and then with the guitar part I didn't have um, a song uh, I mean the lyrics so first I I was humming the melody so conflicting emotions so I, I, I first I found that um, melody so that one is hidden in the guitar guitar riff in the very beginning so I just translated the guitar riff into the vocal melody and after the tracks or after the instruments were done I um, wrote the lyrics and then also sang the song Conflicting Emotions was a very personal song to me so um, it took me um, I don't know like two years to even record it and finish the production because it was so personal to me I didn't want to do injustice to the song it means a lot to me uh, and also the other problem was I wasn't quite ready to share my experience my um, yeah my ideas to everyone but now everything is done and I am really happy that conflicting emotions is coming out next week 4th February please um, mark it on your calendar I am sure you're gonna love it and also yeah keep supporting me keep loving me thank you so much Bye, have a great day and look out for my other videos.
Bye.